Sinus inflammation causes swelling of tissue that narrows the nasal passages and makes drainage of liquids from the sinuses more difficult. If we can just open it up a little bit, that usually makes a big difference. Medication and nasal sprays can help the drainage, but they don't work for people with chronic sinusitis. Now, these are people who have had symptoms for more than three months and have, been, have tried multiple rounds of antibiotics and just not getting better. Endoscopic surgery performed in a hospital under general anesthesia is a conventional solution. It may require some tissue removal. But now, more and more doctors suggest a less invasive treatment called balloon sinoplasty. The procedure requires only local anesthesia and can be performed in a specialist's office. The doctor inserts a catheter through a nostril and pushes a wire fitted with a tiny lamp through it to determine the right location of the problem area. He then uses a balloon catheter to open the narrow or blocked passage. An occasional sinus infection does not mean the procedure is necessary. A CT scan helps the doctor determine if it would be beneficial. On your scan, this structure is large. It's blocking where your sinus is drained. And on your right side, all of this is impacted. Jennifer Maza suffered from a chronic sinus infection before undergoing the procedure. I would have a headache every, almost every single day. She says balloon sinoplasty has made a huge difference. I'm not as tired, I could breathe better, sleep better. Patients can go to work the next day, although congestion may continue for up to a week. Doctors report a 95% success rate but say this treatment is not for everyone. For example, people with nasal polyps are not candidates. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington. Nice to meet you, man.